What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video on the channel known as the name indeed. And in this video I'm going to be talking about CAC customization and how it should be when everything risk 3 comes around. Hope you all enjoy this video and yeah, let's get into it. CAC customization. Practically the main thing you do in Xenoverse 2. Hell, it's literally the first thing you do before you even start playing the game. Which is why, in my opinion, CAC customization needs to be one of the best features in Xenoverse 3. When or if it ever comes around. Of course, you know, the game actually working should come first. So, these are the things that I think should come to Xenoverse 3. First off, the obvious. Being able to customize cast, character, closing. Having a literal copy and paste of the actual outfit from the show is pretty damn boring. <laughs> and can be a real pain in the ass to get to really match with something. Games like Soul Calibur has had the cast, character, closing for your own character to wear for ages, while at the same time being able to change the colors of it as well to add your own little, you know, design to it. Plus also having the option to add some little stickers on there, which you can also use as tattoos onto your character, which I think would be really, really dope to see in Xenoverse 3. Everyone has been really asking for this, especially since of the fact that you can do this on your mentor. But not on your... Not on your... CAC! Now this would also kind of go with the recoloring topic as well. But also being able to change the colors of our attacks as well as our key. Having everything matched, you know, like your own little color scheme or whatever you're going for would be really, really nice to have in this game. A great example of this, a legendary Super Saiyan build. Not really too many green attacks in the game, but with this, it wouldn't really be that much of an issue at all. Being able to have like a green colored Kamehameha or a green colored Gallic Gun would be really really nice to have. Especially since there's not really any green colored key waves in the game at all. Along with all of this, I believe we should also get some more transformations, as well as some races while I'm at it. Super Saiyan God of course being the first one, because everyone really, really wants it. They could treat the God Key transformations with the Saiyans kind of like how they did with Super Saiyan. You know, like how Super Saiyan 3 um, raised your strike based attacks, while with, while with um, Super Vegeta, it had increased your Key Blast attacks. So they could have Super Saiyan Blue increase your strike based attacks, while Super Saiyan God will do, you know, your key blast attacks. Also, having Ultra Instant Omen would be another really nice thing to see transfer into Xenoverse 3. Mainly on the fact that there's not very many versatile transformations in the game that all races can use outside of Kyle Ken and I think it's called Mystic Form. Gohan's form from uh, the, the Boo Saga. So having another versatile transformation for everyone would be really nice to overall have in the game. Now, to move on to the races. Pretty much just kind of like a race overall. Most of this just mainly revolves around the fact that mainly everyone really wanted to have like a Super Boo or a Skinny Boo. I did find it kind of lame that you were, that you could only have a Fat Boo, but you could transform into the other forms through the Majin Buu transformation. I can't remember what it's called because I never really used it. But I would overall just rather have a Super Buu or a Kid Buu overall. So having those little extra options for the Majin race would be pretty nice. You know, have them all do their own little thing. Whatever. Along with that, Saiyans should be able to choose to have a tail like Universe 7 
which I'll mention right now, make them animated. The files are already there. Just do it. It's not that hard. Or have the choice to be like Universe 6 Saiyans and not have them. Also adding in more races like Hit's Race, Beerus' Race, Androids, Tien? What the hell even is Tien? Why hasn't this ever been talked about? Why? Why? Now this next one is kind of like a major topic that everyone really wants. And it's one thing that has kind of just, you know, changed the game entirely in mods whenever it first dropped. And that would be custom movesets. Now the only thing I can really give a good example of, of how they could do this is from Absolver. And in that game you are given four main stances that you can begin a combo from, which in total gives you three moves in each stance, but you can also mix them up with your alternative moves, which you are given one with each stance. But we are only mainly trying to focus on the first stance. So as you can see here, I'm overall doing the basic combo, which we'll refer to as our light combo for Xenoverse terms. Pretty basic, however, we can mix up our opponent by using our alternative move, which we'll say is our heavy hit for Xenoverse 2 turns. Using, Ag bleh, using Absolver as an example, Dems could possibly use this as a beta for making your own moveset. Now note that if a move doesn't fit or properly align with the moveset of the character, it will tell you that the moveset path will change further into the combo and it will have to be changed. Now I can see this being an issue with how the game works overall, with you know combos dropping, unvanishables, we all love those right, unvanishables, what a wonderful concept. But like I said, I would hope that Dems would really prioritize the game actually working before you know, beginning on all of you know the extra stuff. And if having our own moveset isn't an option, then we should at least be able to equip the cast character's moveset to use. Which I will be explaining in another video how this could come to fruition in Xenoverse 3's mentor system. Alright, so this final topic is pretty much the biggest one on the list. This could really change the entire customization game all together in Xenoverse. Now the probability of this actually happening is overall slim to none, but it would make the support for this game incredibly stronger, and, and with the amazing amount of support that it already gets from its fans, I just gotta clarify that. I can definitely say that Xenoverse definitely deserves its own Steam Workshop, or as I was, bleh, if I can speak properly, as I've called it. The Community Creation Shop. I know that sounds super cheesy, but just bear with me. <laughs> On the PC platform, mods is practically the only thing keeping this game alive. Whether it be the usual bullshit you see on a daily basis, or the amazing jaw-dropping creations that you see these modders make. The second one is obviously the one I'm talking about. I feel like I shouldn't have to point that out, but, you know, you never know. <laughs> the amount of things that these modders make are truly outstanding. Whether it be character mods, new hairstyles and outfits, even going to the links of making new stages and quests. I can definitely say that the Tournament of Power stage this mod is way better than the actual one in the game because you don't have a stupid child screaming at you the whole time. <laughs> With the addition of the community creation shop, other players can put up their own creations that they've made, adding even more content to look at and just overall explore. Looking at outfits, stages, hairstyles, movesets, maybe even to the lines of new facial expressions, eyes, face paints, maybe even emotes. The amount of customization content would be damn near never ending. Not only would this help bring more support to the game, it would also bring support to the creators as well. 
If this can happen, we can see such awesome creators such as Triza, Dead Envy, Komodo, Masterclo, Neji Springfield, Nitro Gamers, and many other creators out there come and make even more insane creations. I know everyone would love to see these things transfer into Xenoverse 3. Mainly because I've heard other YouTubers already, you know, chat on these subjects already. Like Dino and Dion, Super Saiyan Cabby, King Phantom, and many others. It's a phenomenal game series that could overall be one of the best Dragon Ball games out there if Dimps can properly just put forth the effort and make this game into what it should be. Well, I'm pretty sure that is it for me on this Xenoverse 3 discussion video. Let me know what you think should come into Xenoverse 3, like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you hated it, and I'll see you all in the next one.